Today I'll be painting this autumn inspired fairy, so stay tuned. This is Aggie Pixie and I hope I bring you some inspiration today. So today I'm trying out this new uh, canvas. It's basically a cardboard covered with a cotton canvas. It's lightweight and I just want to give it a try. So before I paint, I go over some sketches. I go through Pinterest to search out my color palette and try to get some inspiration from there. It's very useful. Uh, so I decided on this color palette. So check in my comments. I will post all the colors that I used. And this palette, it was the perfect warm autumn fall vibe and I really loved them together. So check down below in the comments. But before I paint, I like to have my cappuccino and I'm just relaxing on my terrace in my enchanted garden. Well, it's not really an enchanted garden, but I like to think so. There are my acrylic brushes that I'm going to be painting with today. And I take out my gesso, I prepare my board uh, with gesso and a little bit of paint that I'm going to use for the background. And oh yeah, uh, <laughs> I get out some fresh flowers uh, because Mr. Botticelli just loves his fresh flowers and it's kind of nice to paint with a beautiful setting. Anyways, I get out my chalk pastels and I prepare a little bit of shading on the face with a soft brush and then I I start with the uh, skin color that I like to use, which I'm going to do like a light colored fairy today, and I just blend, blend, blend. You can skip to the end where I demonstrate how I paint the eyes and the face. And here I'm painting a few roses, and I like to start from dark to light. I love this Venetian rose color, then I go over it with uh, a Naples yellow reddish. And I add some leaves. Uh, this color is sap green with the Persian blue. And I do love to add a pop of color. And this red is a very warm red. It's very bright. And I think it's an essential for any artist. So I do recommend you get it. It's the Natal Red Medium. And I will post it down in the comments. So I do flowers. Um, they're a little bit messy, they're not very realistic, but that's just, you know, I, I really like that style. Um, very loose, and I think it's pretty. And uh, I'm painting her wings. Uh, butterfly wings are pretty challenging, I have to say. <laughs> and I'm just finishing up with that. You know, start from dark to light. That is the trick with acrylic painting. Now for my absolutely favorite part, um, painting the eyes. I start with adding a little bit of highlights around the eye, then I mix up some sap green and Persian blue for the eye color today. I go over the eyes with uh, these unrealistic highlights, but I think it just gives uh, my paintings a sort of like a surreal feel. And I, I like to paint with shading that not, that it's not really realistic um, but you can do whatever you want this is just how I do it so I decided to go with green eyes and so the shading of the green is it's going to apply even to her lids and a little bit around her eye and then of course the pouty lip look and I am using that color again the nathal I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it correctly uh, the Nathal Red Medium. Anyways, I will post it down in the comments, this color. I just love this color. It's, it's a very bright, warm red, and I think it's an essential for the artist. So I love using zinc white for blending. Um, it's a transparent white, and it's great for adding those highlights around the eyes and on the cheeks. It's not as opaque as the titanium one white. Um, I do use the titanium white when I want to add really bright touches. For instance, um, I, I put white um, dots in her hair and uh, it's very bright, very opaque and it kind of gives this luminance 
sort of this pixie dust effect. <laughs> um, here I decided to add uh, some tattoos on her face, I guess, I don't know how would you call it. Yeah, um, she's an autumn inspired pixie and so I thought it would be cute to add, you know, uh, uh, autumn leaves to her face. And I think it's kind of cute. What do you guys think? I appreciate you guys watching this far and thank you to my new subscribers. I really love you guys for subscribing, uh, supporting this channel and please give me some feedback. It will make all this painting, videoing and edu editing <laughs> all that much more worth it and please leave me a comment. If you like this pixie, give her a like and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.